Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In my video, I will be walking you through the step-by-step -step process of femoral artery puncture, including the indications for the procedure, the equipment needed, and the potential complications and how to avoid them. I will also be sharing some tips and tricks for performing a successful femoral artery puncture, based on my own experience in the clinical setting. So if you're a medical professional looking to brush up on your skills or a student eager to learn more about this important procedure, then this video is definitely for you. I hope that by the end of it, you will feel more confident and knowledgeable about femoral artery puncture. Femoral artery puncture is a medical procedure in which a needle is inserted into the femoral artery, which is located in the groin area. This procedure is commonly performed for diagnostic and interventional purposes, such as angiography, angioplasty, stent placement, and arterial blood sampling. During the procedure, the healthcare provider locates the femoral artery by palpating the pulse in the groin area. The skin over the artery is cleaned and sterilized, and a local anesthetic is applied to numb the area. A needle is then inserted into the artery through a small incision in the skin. The needle may be guided by imaging techniques such as ultrasound or fluoroscopy to ensure accurate placement. Once the needle is successfully positioned in the femoral artery, a sheath or catheter may be inserted through the needle to access the artery for the intended procedure. After the procedure is completed, the needle and sheath are removed, and pressure is applied to the puncture site to prevent bleeding. A compression bandage may be applied to the area to further reduce the risk of bleeding. Femoral artery puncture is a common and generally safe procedure when performed by trained healthcare professionals. However, there are potential risks and complications associated with the procedure, such as bleeding, infection, hematoma formation, nerve injury, and artery damage. Patients should follow their healthcare provider's instructions for post-procedure care to minimize the risk of complications. The procedure for femoral artery puncture is as follows. 1. The patient is positioned on the examination table, typically lying flat on their back with their legs straight. 2. The healthcare provider locates the femoral artery by palpating the area just below the inguinal ligament, which is located in the groin crease. 3. The provider cleans and sterilizes the area around the femoral artery with an antiseptic solution. 4. Using a local anesthetic, the provider numbs the area around the femoral artery to reduce pain during the procedure. 5. A needle is then inserted into the femoral artery through a small incision in the skin. This is typically done under the guidance of ultrasound or fluoroscopy to ensure accurate placement of the needle. 6. Once the needle is properly positioned in the femoral artery, a sheath or catheter may be inserted through the needle to access the artery for procedures such as angiography, angioplasty, or stent placement. 7. After the procedure is complete, the needle and sheath are removed, and pressure is applied to the puncture site to prevent bleeding. A compression bandage may be applied to the area to further reduce the risk of bleeding. 8. The patient is typically monitored for a period of time after the procedure to ensure there are no complications, such as bleeding or infection. It is important for healthcare providers to adhere to proper sterile technique during the femoral artery puncture procedure to reduce the risk of infections and other complications. The duration of the femoral artery puncture procedure can vary depending on the specific reason for the puncture and the complexity of the procedure being performed. In general, the procedure itself usually takes about 15 to 30 minutes to complete. This includes the preparation of the patient, locating the femoral artery, numbing the area, inserting the needle or catheter, carrying out the necessary procedure, and removing the needle or sheath. However, the overall time spent in the procedure room may be longer than this, as additional time may be needed for patient setup, obtaining imaging guidance, if required, and recovery after the procedure. In some cases, patients may need to be monitored for a few hours following the procedure to ensure there are no complications such as bleeding or other adverse reactions. It's important to note that individual circumstances and the complexity of the procedure can affect the overall time spent in the procedure room and recovery area. Patients should consult with their healthcare provider for specific information about how long their particular femoral artery puncture procedure is expected to take. Femoral artery puncture is a commonly performed procedure with a low overall risk of complications. However, as with any medical procedure, 
there are potential risks and complications that patients should be aware of. Some of the possible risks and complications of femoral artery puncture include 1. Bleeding. Bleeding from the puncture site is a common complication of femoral artery puncture. In most cases, this can be controlled with pressure applied to the area and a compression bandage. However, excessive bleeding may require additional interventions, such as the use of a closure device or surgical repair. 2. Hematoma. A hematoma is a collection of blood that can form at the puncture site. This can cause swelling, pain, and bruising. Small hematomas typically resolve on their own, but larger hematomas may require drainage or other treatments. 3. Artery damage. There is a risk of damage to the femoral artery during the puncture procedure. This can lead to impaired blood flow or other vascular complications. In some cases, surgical repair may be necessary to address arterial damage. 4. Infection. Although rare, there is a risk of infection at the puncture site. Signs of infection include redness, swelling, warmth, and drainage from the site. Antibiotics may be necessary to treat an infection if it occurs. 5. Nerve injury. The femoral artery is located near nerves in the groin area, and there is a small risk of nerve injury during the puncture procedure. This can result in pain, numbness, or weakness in the leg. 6. Allergic reaction. Some patients may have an allergic reaction to the local anesthetic or contrast dye used during the procedure. This can cause symptoms such as itching, hives, or difficulty breathing. 7. Blood clot formation. There is a small risk of blood clot formation in the femoral artery or surrounding veins after the procedure. This can lead to complications such as deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. It's important for patients to discuss the risks and benefits of femoral artery puncture with their healthcare provider before undergoing the procedure. Patients should also follow their provider's instructions for post-procedure care to reduce the risk of complications. If they experience any concerning symptoms after the procedure, they should seek medical attention promptly. The recovery process following a femoral artery puncture procedure typically involves a period of observation and monitoring to ensure that the patient does not experience any complications. Here is an overview of the typical recovery process. 1. After the procedure is completed, the patient is usually moved to a recovery area where they will be monitored for a period of time. The length of time spent in recovery can vary depending on the specific procedure performed and the patient's individual situation. 2. The healthcare team will monitor the puncture site for any signs of bleeding, hematoma formation, infection, or other complications. It is important for patients to follow their healthcare provider's instructions for post-procedure care, which may include keeping the puncture site clean and dry, avoiding strenuous activities, and taking prescribed medications as directed. 3. Patients may be advised to keep the puncture site covered with a bandage or dressing for a period of time to help prevent bleeding or infection. They may also be instructed to avoid bathing or swimming for a certain period of time to reduce the risk of complications. 4. Patients may experience some discomfort, bruising, or swelling at the puncture site, which is normal after the procedure. Over-the-counter pain relievers may be recommended to help manage any discomfort. 5. It is important for patients to monitor the puncture site for any signs of infection, such as redness, swelling, warmth, or drainage. If any concerning symptoms occur, patients should contact their healthcare provider promptly. 6. Follow-up appointments may be scheduled to assess the puncture site, monitor recovery progress, and discuss any further treatment or care as needed. Overall, the recovery process following a femoral artery puncture procedure is typically well tolerated, and most patients are able to resume their normal activities within a few days. However, it is important for patients to follow their healthcare provider's instructions for post-procedure care and to report any concerns or complications promptly for appropriate management. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more informative content on medical procedures and techniques. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful.